stressing my life out right yeah, now. Yeah, you're stressing my life out. Okay, what are you doing now? Why are you not sitting down? Do you have the questions? Yes, look. Okay, good. Let's go. I don't, you think there's no audio? You can still hear yourself. Hey everyone, so I'm gonna be doing a tag. Try and look at the screen, by the way. I mean, the thingy. Okay, cool. Because it's you. difficult. Yes, ma'am. Um, hey everyone, so I'm gonna be doing a tag video. I haven't done one in a while, and I thought it'd be quite fun. And quite a few people will be doing it. I wasn't tagged, but I'll just do it anyway. And I have Daniel again with me. What's up? Um, I just thought it'd be quite cool to get like a guy's perspective, like a guy's like response to the question. So yeah. Hopefully you enjoy it and it won't be as long as the last one. How long does it take you to get ready for a date? Do you want to start and then like you can answer yours after mine? Yeah, please, let me search. The same amount of time it takes me to get ready because it's just like a, I'm going out. And so, how long is that? Uh, two hours. An hour two hours. to two hours. Two hours. But now I wear wigs. It's like an two hour hours. and a half. Excuse me. Sorry. An hour and a half, so as in you're there, as in you're there in my room every day, right? How yeah. would you know that exactly? Yeah. How about you? Oof, good question. Um, I would it's say depending on what needs doing, 45 minutes is a safe time. Yes, that's a long time, about 45 minutes. Come turning up to no date, looking all scruffy, you got to be on point. What's your idea of a perfect first date? Dinner, drinks, cinema or adventurous dates? For me, the ideal date would be dinner and drinks because you get to talk to the person. If you go to cinema, you're, like, you're literally sitting like for two, three hours in silence and you don't really get to know the person until you actually leave. So I feel like dinner is like nice and romantic setting and sitting on the table and ordering food and then having drinks afterwards and stuff. Yeah, that's like, that would be my ideal date. But then I do like going to cinemas as well. So, but first date. First date, yeah, dinner and drinks. Yeah, I think first date for me, adventurous. It has to be. Dinner and drinks is a bit contrived. Everyone's on their best behavior. It has to be adventurous. You but have like, to put it on the spot. You can't just say, you oh, we're going hiking. Like, Literally. Like, or what if she doesn't hike? We're going skydiving. No, no I'm joking. That's but something, so extreme. Maybe second date, but not the first. Like. First day it has to be fun. It's like, look, it's just paintballing or it's just okay, well, paintballing, a visit to, I don't know, the Lake District. It's just... Actually, I wouldn't mind an adventure. Climbing, day, exactly. An adventure just not day, climbing. It's like not climbing. Paintballing, go karting. Whatever partying. happens, I still had fun. You know, <laughs> we talk, we don't talk. It was a good day out for me. To adventures all the way. Okay, so what, yes, ma'am. like... What would you gravitate more towards to wear on a date? Jeans, trousers, skirt or dress? Um, thing is, I'm not really a skirt dress person unless I'm going like on a night out. So I'll probably gravitate towards like skinny jeans or leather trousers. Like I, I feel more comfortable in like trousers, pants, whatever you call them. So yeah, if it's like a, I don't know, a, anniversary or like a, one of those kind of dates and I, I might wear a dress but I feel better in like trousers okay. and the top Ooh. and the blazer or something yeah what about you definitely a skirt <laughs> yeah. yeah I thought so definitely. yeah it would, you look good you've got nice legs for skirts as well <laughs> nice legs very nice and toned <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> On the date of your choice, what makeup would you wear? <laughs> Girl next door, smoky and sexy, bald lip, or brights? <laughs> what would you wear? <laughs> what kind of makeup would you wear? I I'm going to go with Girl next door. Not because that's obviously, well, not what I would wear, but I think that's what most guys might want to see. Some guys like the whole, like, from Madonna, proper dressed up kind of look, but Girl next door. <laughs> It's kind of like an accessible kind of look. The thing with this question, right? Like, I'm assuming they've met you before they asked you on a date, right? Yeah. So you would already have like a certain look to you. For me, like, I wouldn't feel like I need to change the way I am just so the guy could think, okay, she's more like, I dress up, I do the full face makeup, whatever. That's right. So if I'm going to go on a date, I will probably most likely have like a, like a bold lip and maybe like a neutral eye. But that's what I do normally. I wouldn't change my look just so I can be more subdued and that's what I need to show them that this is me. And yeah, there'll be other days so I can be all casual or whatever, but like 
when you if when you meet me, you're most likely to meet me out somewhere. So I will be dressed up or whatever. So I don't know. I feel like just be yourself. Go with yeah. what yeah, you already yeah, yeah. look like. I mean, some girls prefer wise, yeah. the girl next door, but like for me, I would just yeah. I might not do that the bright. I mean, I don't even wear bright like eye makeup in real life anyway, just on YouTube. But yeah, I just do like a like a brown smoky eye and a full lip. Cool. Thank it's you for quite that. lengthy. Huh? But I need to I need to explain myself because everyone's no, like no, no, everyone keeps going, everyone that's, goes, look, go that's, next door. That's why they wanna watch this yeah. so they can hear your take. My, yeah, so, my yeah, take please. on it. Your date says you have half an hour to be ready, what do you do? I say we're gonna have a problem. Like, sorry. I can't do th unless I'm already ready, and then you just call me like we're going somewhere. Then fine, but um, we might have to reschedule, or like you just give me more time. Thirty minute ain't gonna work for me. <laughs> oh, so the controversial question. I don't know why. Your date asks for the bill. Do you offer to pay with actually meaning to pay, make a fake fuss with no intention of paying, or expect him to pay straight away? Very take? good question. Oh, no, 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 I don't no. want you to answer this no, question first. No, 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 no. I need to hear no, it. I will he no, 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 I will please, say it. Please. I will say mine. Elaborate. I want to hear you first. I will still, I will no, say no, it. No, 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 because the guy can't say his first. This is Why from not? a girl's perspective, and this is important. So please okay. share okay. and elaborate this time. If you've been asked on the first date, the guy has asked you, invited you to go somewhere, so I'm guessing he's planned where to go chose the restaurant whatever he's expected to pay if it's a first date he's the one who's invited you on this whatever so i mean there's no problem with paying but like if he's invited you on this date like oh come out i want to get to know you want to whatever take a dinner or go whatever he's supposed to be the one to plan whatever you're doing if it's another date if it's like the second date then yeah fine I, i'm not i don't have a problem with cool. but then there are some dudes though that like where I've been, yeah, where I've, no, 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 like I've actually offered and, and they actually get really upset that you've offered to pay. That there's some dudes like that as well, which is quite strange, but I mean, mm -hmm. yeah. So it depends on the person, depends on the situation, but if it's a first date, the guy is actually required to pay. That's my opinion. Now, it's not about this, oh, it's 2014, but. you're, you're on your own woman. Yeah, you can be after the first date, but you know, that's my take. So girls, don't let him, don't let him like, <laughs> weasel his way out and like, you know. I think from a guy's perspective, the status quo is yes, um, I mean she was fine in her house doing her own thing and you're the one who's basically dragged her out to come out to keep you company so fair, I'm expected to pay. But, this is my only band, this is just my personal opinion. Yes, I ask you on the first date, and yes, you do come out, and yes, the onus is on me to prove everything, to display, you know, my interest, so to speak. However, if the girl actually offers to pay, one, I'm going to be shocked, I'm going to be like, <laughs> oh, really? and then I'm going to be like, respect. Like, I rate you, like, serious, serious respect. I would never let you pay. But the fact that you actually offered. offered to pay and <laughs> some girls do make a fuss about it and be like, oh no, 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 I'm going to pay, you know, my own woman, yada, yada, yada. Like I said, it just depends. It's a it fine really line. It really depends, yeah. It is a fine line and it all depends. But if you did offer to pay, I would like literally respect you, like respect. And I would probably like pay forever. <laughs> pay forever. <laughs> so there'll be more days. That's, that's, that's my opinion. Like, yeah. Okay. Hope you guys got what I was saying, right? Because you made me look like I was like. Nah, it's you know, cool. Yeah, yeah. There's yeah. some. There ain't no thirsty girls out there. <laughs> it's not about being thirsty. It's about the principle. <laughs> yes. You know? The principle of the thing. Do you go out with him again? I don't what? know if the question. Do you go? Out, I think it's the same. If he pays or doesn't pay, or whatever. Do you go out with him again? So I'm guessing if. If the date, it's not about who paid or didn't pay, if the date was good, the date was fun, then yeah, you would go on a second date or many more dates. I guess that's what it means. Cool. Right. Okay. It's time to say goodbye. You really like your date. Do you wave, hug, kiss on the cheek, peck, full on smooch? Why are you looking at me? Uh, I just wanted to see what oh, you no, say. Oh no, please. Ladies first. <laughs> what do I do? Thing is, you're not supposed to kiss on the first date because you want to give him ideas and everything. You want to see if things actually develop without the physical side and everything. So I wouldn't 
though I have done in the past, I wouldn't kiss on the first date. I wouldn't wave. That's kind of like mean. Come on, Jason. Hey, <laughs> bye. See you later. Yeah. No, I'll probably like hug. Yeah, I'll probably just hug them. If if it didn't go really well, then yeah, I just like a hug and layers kind of thing. Uh, but I mean, it's up to you. If you feel like it's going so well, you want to kiss the guy, then go ahead. I'm not stopping you. But um, yeah, it depends. If you full on smooching and full on whatever else after that, then cool. It's all up to you, really. Cool. Okay. But, all right. <laughs> for me. Leave room for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> <laughs> Leave room for the Holy Spirit. There must be a space between you, the Holy Spirit, and the girl. And the girl. So. I think a lot of it depends on, yeah, Jenny's right, how the date actually went. But it's a fine line. Yeah, you probably don't want to kiss on the first date. Just because that speeds things up. At the end of the day, it's, it comes natural. Yeah. kind of thing that's what you want you want a natural relaxed kind of thing not something you're gonna be like okay am i gonna kiss am i gonna hug or am i gonna wait what am i gonna do at the end of the first thing no just chill act natural shake go with the flow <laughs> yeah you'll shake hands as well watch in business nice me. <laughs> it's been, all right yeah. it's been real yo cool see you later, see you later maybe never <laughs> cool that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you want more tags and if you want to see this dude again, you know, better come visit me because I'm wasting time. Cool stuff. Saving Good lives. You know. Tough business. Don't save lives. Come and see me. Oh, God. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Peace out, guys. Nice chatting. <laughs> we need, wait, wait. We need to take a thumbnail pic.